Today we're headed to Ethiopia. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. Let's okay, go. this should be really awesome. Yes. We don't know a ton about Ethiopia. Yeah. Actually, don't we don't do really I don't know think anything we've about Ethiopia. We've reacted to one on the channel yet, have we? Is no. This is a first. This is a first. Nice. I'm excited um, for it. Yes. So the it's video today video. is called Coffee, coffee is, is the, the backbone, backbone of Ethiopia, and the thumbnail says Coffee ceremony. Ethiopian Coffee Ceremony. Cool. So we love coffee. Yes, we do. Of course we do. <laughs> so I'm excited to check this out. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do you it. You ready to go? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. The richness of Ethiopian culture is evident in its cuisine, and we're in Bushwick to meet. Kadesh I've never had Sarage Ethiopian coffee. Over a plate of injera, Me either. And to talk to her about the coffee ceremony that her cafe is named after, Bunna. All right. Bunna. Oh, it's in New York. Oh, Brooklyn. Okay. Oh. This looks cool. Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, this is amazing. Mm, that you looks know, good. Every time I get a plate of injera, I'm always shocked by how much it looks like a floral arrangement. Yes. It's so beautiful. Like, all wow. the colors, all just... The communal of act of it is really, like, the strength of it. So you're originally from Addis. Yeah, I was yeah. born in... Raised in the way Ethiopia is set up from region to region, it's yeah. kind of famous for different dishes. But Addis doesn't really have that. Addis is a mixture of like different, everything. Yeah, everything. Right. It's like New York, really. Yeah. Like so, yeah. mainly people ate what you see on this plate. Yeah. Injera, a wow. thin spongy pancake, is made from the grain teff and is topped with various stews such as musarot, red lentils with the spice berbere, and gomen, stewed collard greens with ginger and garlic. Berbere, a red spice, commonly used in Ethiopian cuisine, looks like paprika, but it has its own taste and smell. Though livestock mm. is widely and readily available, I bet that'd be Ethiopian pretty good. Food yeah, it looks is grain based and is extremely good for you. The best part of the food is the sharing part. That's why actually we serve it in a big place That's cool. where everyone can come and eat. Well, it used to be like you even call neighbors to, you know, and then during a lunch time or a dinner time. Yeah. And that's kind of part of the reason why the coffee ceremony is what it is as it well. Is. Yes. Because it's not something you do by yourself. Like, no. Yeah. Coffee culture has existed way before Starbucks was even a thing in Definitely. Ethiopia. But so no, it's not just a cup of coffee. Like it's not a cup of coffee. Sipping like a great coffee. It's, yeah. it's all about, you know, sharing. It's all about inviting new people to your place friends, family, or neighbors. That's why it takes like at least an hour or you know yeah. more to make So it just kind of forces you to have yeah. a conversation with your family <laughs> while you wait for the coffee. Definitely. Coffee isn't that's just cool. Ethiopia's yeah. number one economic export. It's actually something that's rooted in Oh, coffee. I didn't know that. Wow. The raw coffee number beans one are washed export? and then roasted on a flat pan until Whoa. the beans are shiny and black. Whoa. The aroma of the coffee, which is so strong and pungent, is wafted around for each guest to sample. Oh, wow. That probably Along with the so smell good. of the yeah. incense, the air becomes filled with an aromatic sensory overload for the nose. The coffee is then ground on a mortar and pestle and put in a traditional clay pot called jebana. Though you may not hear it, part of the Bunna tradition is that you pray as you roast the coffee. Because of how traditional this method is, the coffee isn't smooth right away and is sieved several times. Wow. Though she's been in the States for over 10 years, this ceremony and her cuisine helps Kadesia reconnect with home. That was really I nice. Home was four years ago, actually. So mm. trying to find myself, trying to see, you know, what's out there, what has changed and, you know, what, what still exists, you know, those kind of things. But it's a lot of things has changed so much. At first, uh, I was heartbroken you know, to, to see that. What's changed? People don't have time for each other anymore no. as, as they used to be. Yeah. Because everyone is busy with their lives. Right. So. I think that's kind of one of the common things that like immigrants have to go through is going back to their homeland and realizing that it hasn't stayed how it has in your memory. And both you and the country have changed. And that nostalgia is kind of ruined. Yeah, sometimes. That's what I was actually looking for. You know, the old memory that I have was. You know, with my people, yeah. but yeah. it's not the same at all. Yeah. Do you feel like cooking this food helps you hang on to that memory? Oh, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and especially now uh, when I come back to myself, it kind of connects me with you know a lot of things that I've lost. Yeah. 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 When you do the bunna ceremony, yeah, I know that you, as you're doing it, you have to pray. 
<laughs> what do you pray for? I usually pray for Ethiopia. Then definitely. That's really cool. Yeah. yeah. And hopefully. I want to try that. Find yeah. Is it yeah. Going to they be say it takes an hour yourself? to make. Yeah. In a way, yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to find it now. So yeah. Yeah. It's pretty cool. I've had a great time here with Hadid. Wow, that was really cool. Yeah. Like more episodes, <clears throat> please click here. I could have kept watching that. Yeah. That was good. Yeah, that coffee looked pretty good too. Yeah, and how you um, cook it on a pan. Yeah. Like that. Yeah, and then it goes in that clay pot. Yeah. It was really cool. And then you pray for the coffee. And it takes an hour, so everyone's all together and sharing. Yep. And, and it looked like it really brought off like a like a really coffee smell. Yeah. You see like walking around. It was yeah, like, it was you like walked burning. it. Yeah. <laughs> you never really see coffee like that. It's yeah. It's like burning almost. Right. Probably smells huh. good. We really have cool. to try that sometime. Yeah, that was really cool. That was really cool. Nice. I wonder if there's any Ethiopian coffee shops near us. Maybe. We should look it up. We should. That's a great idea. It. Yeah, I should too. Sweet. Cool. Let us know in the comments down below if you enjoyed this video. What else should we check out next? And thank you so much for watching. Yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. And if it's your first time coming across our channel and checking out one of our videos, please give us a quick subscribe. Hit the notification bell to stay up to date because we, we, we <laughs> come out with videos every single day. Every single and day. we can't wait to see you tomorrow. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.